No. <sighs> but the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly but that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this, but Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions, beginning now, will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me, both of you? Yeah, I mean, as much as I ever do. Chloe, we understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well.
jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Max would have loved this shit. Gotta face my mom at some point. Might as well be now. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Wells' car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it.
Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I, uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Uh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel, too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans. But maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. It's about damn time. David, please. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much, and you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. David, do you really think now is the right time? Joyce, please. We must be a united front. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you saw how I was treated in there. Now you want to treat me the same way? I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but...
But David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Oh, David. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You're trying. I, I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, You'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left?
Ugh. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is... A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> These magazines are so gross. Who would look at this? Okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. This is no good. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Don't want to leave yet. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? What are you trying to hide under there, Hood?
Here we go. The pick of the litter. Um, this thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. Don't tell me what to do. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. Better head back to the truck. No, not going over there.
Light the way, Bubble Bulb. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Bryce. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank, after you hang up, are you going to smash your phone, like in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If I ever have to smash anything, you'll want nothing to do with it. I'll see you. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Looking good, Robobulb. The inaugural truck tag. You only get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all. 